Hey, this is Rudy Mendez, aka Live Bandit. Today we're going to talk about tiptoeing around an alcoholic and is it really necessary. Um, I'm going to talk to the alcoholics first, then I'm going to talk to the friends and family of the alcoholics, and then lastly I'm going to share a little story why this topic comes up today. So to the alcoholics, my biggest suggestion to you um, would be to just talk. Talk to your family, talk to your friends, let them know where you're at in your sobriety, let them know where you're at in your program and what you're doing in order to stay sober. Also, let them know what they need to do and what you need from them in order to help with your sobriety. You know, early off in my sobriety, um, I was afraid to talk to my family because I didn't want to let them know that, hey, I'm not in control and I and I have a drinking problem, right? Um, I didn't want to let them know that Big Daddy over here couldn't handle his own. I was afraid of that. And I needed some help. Well, because I was afraid to talk to my family, they were afraid to talk to me. Now, to the friends and family of the alcoholic, my biggest suggestion to you would be just to ask. Ask them where they're at in their sobriety. Ask them what they need in their sobriety. Um, you know, it may seem like it's a good idea to tiptoe around them because you don't want to be the cause of a relapse. But in reality, you got no control of that. You will not cause the alcoholic to relapse. That's on us. So sometimes we need someone to spearhead um, asking questions about where we're at in our program and where we're at in our progress on our sobriety because we're afraid to tell you. You know, the same reasons why we won't talk to you is the main reasons why you need to talk to us. Okay, we've got an ego. We're not going to admit that we're, we're, we need help. We're not going to admit that we're weak. We need your help with that. Okay, not point out our character defects, not let us know that we're you know, screwed and whatnot, but just ask, Hey man, how's it going? How are you feeling? What have you been up to? How's your sobriety coming? What are you doing in order to, to stay sober? Right? Those are some simple questions to ask us what, what we're doing and how we're feeling. Okay. Um, so this topic comes up today because of a little drama that got caused on Facebook. One of my family members posted a, a, a post about alcohol. And oh my gosh, the world was coming into an end. Rudy saw it, or what if Rudy saw it? So then a few people were asking my wife, hey, you know, what does he feel like? What is he doing? Is he okay? What is he thinking? And by the way, she didn't tell me who, who these people were. Um, but they were asking her all these questions about me and how I felt and my feelings. And the problem is, is she's not an alcoholic. She doesn't know what I'm going through. She doesn't know what goes on in this crazy mind of mine. She could only suggest to them to talk to me. In the end, my biggest suggestion would be alcoholics, talk about your program, progress, talk about your problems, talk about where you're at in your sobriety. Family, ask questions. We're prideful people as alcoholics. We're not going to always divulge and tell you that we're weak. We need your help. We need you to ask us those questions. Ask us where we're at in our sobriety. Ask us when was the last time we hit an AA meeting. Ask us how our progress and how we're feeling, right? Because, again, we're not always going to divulge that information. Um, so... You have to start feeling comfortable being uncomfortable around each other. The easiest way to do that is stop tiptoeing. You got to kick those doors in and stop tiptoeing. Um, my wife likes to call it, you know, walking on eggshells. Crush all them damn eggshells. Get rid of them. Sweep them out. Okay? Feel comfortable being uncomfortable. Talk about your problems. Talk about your progress. Ask questions to the alcoholic. This is Live Bandit, and I'm out.